remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? The great Congresswoman Maxine Waters has always been a staunch critic of Donald Trump, your president. Now she's comparing the orange dotard to Los Angeles gang members, saying that gang members have more integrity than he does. Her criticism came as the California Congresswoman appeared on Showtime. This guy is a street player. Miss Waters said about the orange man. He's a guy that has con folks. He's flirted with gangsters. She continued, I have worked in some of the toughest communities. I've worked with gangs. I've worked with crips. I've worked with bloods. And there's more integrity in many of these young people in the hood than this man has. Miss Waters also went after Trump after he expressed interest in commuting the jail sentence of his political ally, Roger Stone, with the representative comparing the dotard to a mafia boss. Trump using AG Barr to get his criminal friends out of jail is the tip of the iceberg, she tweeted. I'll say it again. Trump will pardon Flynn, Manafort, and Stone because the GOP cowards in the Senate bowed down to his feet. Republicans now stand for crime, corruption, autocracy and Russia. They are pathetic. On Thursday, a judge sentenced Stone to 40 months in prison for witness tampering and lying to Congress. Trump has backed down from commuting his sentence thus far, although he has continued to brag about how he has the power to do so. I'll tell you straight up, the woman is not lying. She's right. I've met plenty of gang members and none of them were into incest. Maxine rocks. We need a t-shirt like that. Maxine rocks. I'll buy one. Maxine rocks. <laughs> you know, Maxine was the first to call Trump out on his BS back in 2006. She was the first one to say, hey man, Russian interference, Russian interference. She called it out way back then. One thing about Maxine, you can say what you, you want to say about her, but she is one brave woman. She is brave. The things that she say, the people that she check. I mean, you got people running around here like cowards, afraid to call these people out. And Maxine, like, she'll call them out. She has no problem calling them out. Maxine tells the truth, and Trump, his cult, they can't stand it. They just don't like her. They know what she's saying is not, they're not, she's not lying. They know it's true, but they just don't like the idea of her saying it, you know? You know how it is, somebody point out one of your faults or whatever, and you know it's true, but you don't appreciate them saying it. That's what's happening here. Trump has completely gutted the intel community. Pray, and I mean you better pray hard that the military intel have a firewall to his insanity. He has gutted the state of the CIA. He's gutted the FBI. He's gutted law enforcement. He's gutted, gutted, gutted Congress. And I say gutted three times because it was already gutted. He's made it even worse. There has to be some type of accountability here. This is very dangerous. This putting a spin on intel is how we ended up with 911 and Iraq. There has to be some type of objective truth and basic fact to be able to govern and manage an enterprise as complex as the USA. And Trump ain't it. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.